Greetings once again, my friends, and welcome back once again to Kingdom Hearts Cha Rechain of Memories. Wait, I thought we beat this game, Andrea. Explain. Well, yes, we beat it only on one character, but now we got another story. It's yes, a shorter so, story. So we beat Sora's campaign, but there's also a campaign in this game for Riku called Reverse Rebirth. So we're going to now start that up, but we're going to change things up just a tad. Uh, Andrea played the Sora version, and I'm actually going to be at the helm for Riku. So here we go. Uh, we're going to play as Riku and beginner mode. I think that's that's what we did. I thought we did standard. Oh, we did standard. That's right. So super mega ultra hard mode, right? Unless you want to do proud mode. No, I really don't. I don't see a point. Okay, so we want vibrations on, and yep. Watch when I was completely wrong and we did it on beginner, but I don't know. I think we did it on standard because we wanted it. At least somewhat challenging. Yeah. Especially for a first time playthrough of this type of a game. Where am I? Stay asleep. Huh? Who's there? You should remain asleep. Here, between light and dark. Between what? Uh, huh? The king! Where's the king? Together we close the door to darkness. After that? You came drifting here by yourself. You did not have the strength to overcome the darkness. Or, maybe you were close to it. <laughs> As if I'm some kind of demon. <laughs> Turn from the light. Shut your eyes. Here, blanketed by the darkness, sleep is safety. Sleep is eternal. But... What's this? It is a door to the truth. Take it and your sleep ends as you take the first step toward the truth. But know this. The truth will bring you pain. Will you still go? There is no return to the security of sleep. This seemed like a boring place to take a nap anyway. That was very well said, Riku. Huh? All right, so we have Hollow Bastion, which is where Riku starts his journey. What, there are a couple things I want to take care of before we get things started officially. So, yes, the Riku campaign, as, as Andrea stated, is shorter. Um, I, do we hit all the worlds? I know we go through the worlds. I don't, I really don't know very remember. much. Um, I guess we'll find out. But. Yeah. The other difference is that where Andrea got to like collect cards and be able to set up her deck, my deck is pretty much set up. Yeah. Riku not cannot can customize his card deck. He must fight with the provided deck. The cards in the deck will change as Riku advances through the game. So you will get better cards, uh, but it's what the game allows you to have. But I heard the Wonderlands deck is pretty much the crappiest out yes, of the... Yes, uh, because they're all pre-provided, and from what we can tell, uh, Wonderlands deck is worthless. Yeah, so... so that being said... But this The other, style... the other thing I want to really quickly, quickly address, because somebody did ask a very good question. 
why does uh, why does Ansem sound different between Kingdom Hearts 3 and now this compared to the original Kingdom Hearts? Um, I can't remember who, I think it's Richard Epcar that plays him currently, because um, it's the voice of Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Uh, but before then, they had cast, a lot of people they had cast are now no longer in these games. So for example, Mandy Moore played Eris in the first game. She's not casted anymore. They, they got the girl who played Eris in Advent Children to play her. And Ansem was also being played by Billy Zane. Uh, if people don't know who Billy Zane is, he is Rose's, in, uh, his, he is Rose's betrothed in Titanic. So the guy who was like, love joy, fight her. You know, that's Billy oh, Zane. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I can't remember the actual line. Hal or something. Or Cal, yeah. or I can't yeah, remember. you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, he's she, she's like he's like the fiance, uh, mm-hmm. or he's the fiance to Rose. He was the original Ansem, and mm-hmm. then after, you got to remember that the PS2 version of Tra- Chain of Memories happened after all, of, like a while after. You only had the Game Boy Advance version. Richard Epcar had then taken over the role in Kingdom Hearts 2. So, and from there on in, Richard Epcar has, has been the guy who plays Ansem. If I've got that wrong, I, I will double check it. But um, I believe it is Richard Epcar. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just make a save file, but we don't want to get rid of Sora's. Otherwise, oh, yeah. we don't get access to Riku's story. You have to have completion there. Oh, yeah. I usually, if I have a different s- side of a story, I usually save it on another one. Yep. And I, I got to refresh myself with the controls, but I think we're good. So let's go ahead and head into Hollow Bastion. I love it. It gives us a choice, and yet we don't have a choice. <laughs> it's like, <sighs> why do I got four cards when I only have one in my pocket? What if I want to use one of those other cards? Too bad. So sad. And somehow, through drifting in limbo, he has ended up in Castle Oblivion. But that doesn't make sense, guys. He didn't run across Sora. He didn't. But he went through his own journey in Castle Oblivion. This is Hollow Bastion. What you seek is not real. It's the world of your memory. My memory? The things you remember from your time at Maleficent's castle became a card, and that card made this world. You've seen everything here before, haven't you? Yeah. So what now? Am I going to learn something? Maybe meet someone? Man, do I? (laughs) You would meet the people in your memories. Makes you feel like we're in a Christmas carol or something. Kind of. Ordinarily. What does that mean? It means you haven't paid your parking tickets. I don't... That's Sora's deal, not mine! (laughs) Hey, I'm asking you a question. I'm not paying the parking tickets Sora made. Later, you will get a key. (laughs) Fine. But it had better be you I run across next voice. I don't even think a Riku mode was in the Game Boy Advance version, was it? I don't know. I haven't finished the game, but I'll let you know as soon as I do. I think this is unique to just the PS2 version. Well, I wonder if even... Yeah, I guess maybe this was in the PS2. I don't know. <coughs> now, I believe we still can level up, right? Yes, we... Okay, we, and we, we probably want to do that. And yet we're at <laughs> level one all over again. Yes. Except... We have a pre-designed deck. I can't remember. How do you do slights again? Um, I think it's... The, there you go. There we go. Woo! Thank goodness you're not going through the whole tutorial thing. And then you gotta push it again to unleash them. Oh, okay. That, that's what I got wrong. Okay, Tranquil Darkness. Oh, and I've leveled up. So level two. Um, we can't do a dark... So you get a, an HP boost and an attack boost. You don't really get slights in this game, I don't think, for Riku. But you get darkness boost, which is basically... uh, Riku runs off of, instead, card points, dark points. So let's go ahead and do an HP boost this time around, because I want to get a little bit more health. Yeah, I usually alternate as much as I can if... Okay. Okay, I was trying to get behind him. It didn't work out. 
Jeez, I really wish I knew like some of his some of his slights that he already has. You can. Yeah, I just don't know what they are. Well, I think you just have to. Whoa! You probably have to look up his uh, stuff in the. Oh, hurry and get the orbs. Or, oh, yeah. Because those are your. Any experiences. There we go. Yeah. Okay, feeble darkness. And we got another level. So let's go ahead and do a boost to his. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to do another boost to. Okay. To HP just to get a little bit more of a health bar. Uh, really quick. Because he Maybe doesn't really have. Status, I think. Shortcuts. Oh, would it be status? Okay, so status. Oh, you don't have any. I don't have any slides. So, all right. So you just work with what you got. I also got an interesting question. People wanted to know what the sword or the keyblade that Riku wields in this game, because they hadn't seen it before. It is called the Soul Eater. And it's okay that you haven't seen it before, because most of the stuff later is him wielding a keyblade called the Waking Dawn. Or the, I can't remember the name of it, but the car key in three. <laughs> that is the most weird design of a keyblade. Oh, it, it totally is. But you know what? After playing three, I'm okay with it. Oh, yeah. Take this. Like it. Yay! You kind of level up pretty quick. Oh, yeah. It usually is good at the very beginning. Whoa. Ouch. Oh, geez. Ow. Yeah, it's in... I think it's instant re... Yes, but I think you do eventually get a weight bar for however many times you... There we go. Yeah, you I just... really wish we could actually set this up. So this time around, we'll we'll do an attack boost. Okay, so... Ow. Oh, crap. Hey, at least you're doing better than, you know, when it comes to confusion. Jump! I hate confusion. <laughs> Whenever it comes up in a video game. And people might be wondering why I'm taking every single battle if everything's pre-generated. I'm trying to get levels, is oh, really yeah. what I'm doing right now. Well, yeah, we're just gotta get a couple levels mm. in us. And that. Hopefully everybody had a chance to watch Remind if they have not yet. Oh, the Remind trailer that just barely came out. You can attack that thing and it'll, it'll disappear. There we go. So then you won't okay. have to worry about that. Right, let's take care of this guy. I kind of wonder if there's going to be any more before it comes out. Uh, there might be. Because I think we're still looking at winter, right? So yeah. winter would technically start... Uh, December, January? Well, I think, it, yeah, I think it's December to February. So that, I think that's the official quarter. So when they say winter, they're talking about winter quarter. Okay. There we go. So what did you? Th so what did you think of the trailer? I was confused. You were confused. <laughs> I thought a lot of it was really cool. Um, but like I, I liked the idea of being able to play as various characters and have kind of their own story yet fulfilled. But that, the stuff that I was looking for was, like, the story that they're trying to tell with Remind. And they didn't really go into that. Let's see. But you could kind of see some of the scenes that they show. You, it's interesting trying to figure out where they're placed within the game, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I, I just... I'm not saying it was bad by any stretch, but I really wanted a little bit more into the story. Yeah, but I think we will, but 
you know, they had to pick and choose what they were going to show. Taste, you know. This is true. And Nomer is tricky like that. He doesn't want to show his full hand just yet. I bet the whole thing with, like, um, you know, Aqua and Ventus, I bet that's like a a little scene before they start their battle with Benitas and Terrazanort. I, I'm gonna take a guess. What was that? So... You know, the whole scene with Aqua. Yeah, I'll bet that that's in there. That's kind of like, battle. it's kind of like, this is like their pre-scene before their battle. Yeah, I, I I would not be surprised by that. I also think and same that goes, the stuff we saw of Shion was the same. The yeah, same idea. with Kyrie and Axel. Yep. Okay. Oh crap! I'm trying to attack you guys. Okay. No, I don't want you thundering. I don't trust you. Okay. That's the hard thing about using slates. You know, like if you combine cards, you lose a card. Yeah, that's true. So you have to kind of be careful. We don't really even have one right now, which is getting frustrating. Okay. Holy moly. Like it. Take this. Okay. I promise I will come up with topics to talk about. I'm just I'm trying to get used to this again. It's been a long time since I tried out this game. And so I, and since Riku is technically like the harder mode, I need to I need to brush up on my stuff quick. Uh, let's do another attack boost. Okay. We. Take this. Like it. You're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. There we go. Almighty darkness. Uh, really quick. Let me just kind of go through the rest of this room. There we go. Yeah, that's right, because I get multiple paths. Even though, like, everything else is kind of pre-generated for Riku, not the map. Like, you still get to explore a little bit and decide where you're going to go. There we go. Okay. Yay! I got a green card. Lasting days. Okay, so we can go one of two directions. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Just try and do this as quick as possible. And the other trailer that we should probably talk about because we're already getting, we're probably gonna get questions about it pretty soon. Uh, you have now officially seen the Project Resistance trailer, which is the current Resident Evil project that they are working on over at Capcom. What's your take on Project Resistance, Andrea? It's gonna be exciting to see. I... Multiplayer Resident Evil, and I'll bet it's multiplayer only with an internet connection, so... It's not like we'll be able to play uh, split screen at home. We would need a completely different uh, second PlayStation. Really? Mm-hmm. That's my guess, anyway. I could be wrong. They might split screen it, but given how things are going currently, nobody really split screens anymore. Dang, really? Uh, I'd have to borrow Alex's. Pitch black room where many heartless appear. You know what? I want to get one of these. Room where your attack cards are more effective. Room where striking first in the field stuns all heartless. Oh, ew. Well, I'm not going to use that right away. Oh, and I have Moments Reprieve because I have a save point. You know what? Mm. Yeah, let's do this one. Oh, I need six, so... 
Uh, black fun guy, I guess. Uh, no, all my so stuff is pretty low. So instead of every um, so Riku does not learn slates the same method as Sora. Instead, every slate he learns is given to him after leaving Hollow Bastion. Okay, 